The Radio Memories Network is brought to you in part by Liberated Syndication, podcast publishing made easy, Libsyn.com. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. Now let's join the Cisco Kid and Poncho in this week's exciting episode. Exciting story of the Cisco Kid, the Baron of the Badlands. There's a part of the Southwest that exists today much the same as it was in the Old West of the 1870s. A dry, uninviting, trackless waste that has been known as the Badlands ever since men first pioneered the western wilderness, cleared their land, and built their ranches and towns. The little town of Thompson Spring had come into existence on the very edge of this wasteland. Its citizens, curious about the man who had built his home in the rolling hills of the Badlands, but never daring to venture into this forbidden territory. All that is but old Sam Hopkins, whose blacksmith shop served a vital need in the community. Oh, easy, Diablo. The blacksmith will have the new shoes finished in a moment. Diablo, not like to get the new horseshoes, Cisco. See, si, Pancho. Diablo is like the little boy who does not like to sit still while he gets his hair cut. And Pancho not like to get his hair cut neither. <laughs> well... Well, there she be. She's all finished. See, that's a fine horse you have there, friend. See, si, amigo. Diablo is a fine horse. How much do we owe you for the job? Huh? I said, how much do we owe you? Yes, yes, it was a little dewy this morning. But we can't count on no rain for spell yet. No, 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 senor. How much do I owe you? Oh, well, don't need to shout, stranger. I, I can hear. She's going that shouting. She's going to just ask you how much. Yep, I sure have. I got a right easy touch with the horseshoe if I do say so myself. <laughs> well, that'll be done in half. Si, senor. Gracias. On peso, fifty centavos. Mm-hmm. Say, you, uh, you two are strangers around these parts, ain't you? Si, senor. We stopped in Thompson Spring only this morning to get a new shoe for my horse. You are, huh? Oh, now that's too bad. I, I was pretty horse myself a few days back. I caught a bad cold out in the Badlands. Oh, my, did I mean this thing, your blacksmith... To talk local, he catch a cold and get a horse out in the back. No, 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 Pancho. The senor means that the cold made him horse in the throat. That's even worse to get a horse in the throat. Uh, Cisco. Si, Pancho. The senor got a very big throat, or Pancho think the horse be a very little horse? <laughs> what do you think? I think, Pancho, that you are trying hard to make a joke. Si, Cisco, Pancho make a joke. <laughs> he really not mean to send you there. I know, a... I know, Pancho. <laughs> uh, come, Diablo, we go now, come. Say, say, you ain't riding out to the Badlands, are you, stranger? Uh, uh, just shake your head, Cisco. They send your blacksmith, not can hit you anyway. But, Pancho, I think perhaps we will ride into the Badlands. I've always wanted to explore that country. Huh? What'd you say, stranger? I said we may ride into the Badlands. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I was you. It ain't healthy, mister. Was out there myself a spell back. Strange goings on out there. Fellow by the name of Tom Barton don't want nobody coming near his place. Tell him we not go there, sis. Say, your blacksmith, this Tom Barton you spoke about. New spokes? Sure, sure, he's just not got a wagon needing new spokes in the wheels. Sure, I can fix that, too. Aye, Cisco, we're just wasting time. Tell him we come back again someday, uh, maybe Thursday. Thursday? Well, I don't blame you, Mike. Right over there to the Busy Bee Cafe, you can get a nice cool Gracias, drink. Gracias, senor. Come, Pancho, we will go to the Busy Bee Cafe. It's time we had our dinner. Uh, very good idea, Pancho. Think, um, Pancho, not very thirsty, but Pancho can always eat. Eat? Oh, say, son, this ain't nothing. Be a lot hotter in a month or so. <laughs> Well, you finally got here. Been expecting you for some time. Your name's Travers. Jip Travers, is that right? Yeah, Mr. Barton, that's my name, just like it says in the letter you got. And you know my setup here? They explained it to you back east? Sure, yeah. I know all about it. Very well. Let's not waste time. Hand over all the money you got. I understand it was a pretty big haul you made. <laughs> not so big. $12,000. No good, Jip. I know that bank job netted you better than 20000 I get it all or there's no deal here. I swear, Mr. Barton, it wasn't no 20000 Now, look, I guarantee you protection from the law in this place. You're a hunted murderer, Jip. Out here, you're safe, but not without my protection. I get all the money you've got or try it on your own and take your chances with the law. No, no, 
I can't do that. I'll give you everything, but it's only $12,000. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure, that's all. All right, hand it over, Jip. You'll be very comfortable here with the rest of the boys, and you can be sure that nobody will find you. I've got a tight little empire, Jip. Nobody ever comes out this way. If they did, it wouldn't be very good for them. Yeah, that's good, but what about me? I don't have to be stuck out in this hole, do I? Hole? Jip, I think I've made a very comfortable place here for my, uh, shall we say, guests. You'll stay right here. I guarantee you protection from the law, but you got to do exactly as I tell you. Well, Pancho, that was a very good meal we had. Si, si, go. Very good meal. You sit here so long, Pancho gets hungry again very soon. Oh, we are just resting, amigo. We do not have any special need to hurry. It's nice here. Mm, you mean the sangria while sitting at the other table is nice? <laughs> Pancho, no. Oh, you're not full, Pancho Cisco. Pancho Cisco, you're looking at No, no, Pancho, Pancho, I, I scarcely notice the senorita, but uh, now that you mention her, I agree that she is quite attractive. Yes, yes quite attractive. Mm, Cisco notice her all right. Pancho thinks the senorita also notice Cisco. Look, amigo, she's getting up from the table. Turn your head, Pancho. Do not stare at her. It is not polite. Cisco, you look away. Pancho, watch just a little bit. Cisco, the senorita dropped a handkerchief as she passed this table. Oh, I see. So she did. Well, Pancho, she would not want to lose her handkerchief. But I, I will get it for her. Pancho thinks the senorita dropped the handkerchief on purpose. Pancho, you are too suspicious. I, I will be back in a moment. Yeah. Pancho better order some more food. Uh, your pardon, senorita. I believe you dropped your kerchief. Oh, of course. I'll still put it in me. Well, thank you very much. Not at all, senorita. You are a stranger in this part of the country? Yeah, yes, I am. I, uh, my name is Nell. Uh, Nell Taylor. What is this? I am the Cisco Kid. How do you do? You know, you're the first person I met here. Oh? Perhaps you would care to join Pancho and me at our table. Well, I just finished eating, and I really should go back to the hotel, but, uh, oh, maybe for a minute or two. Bueno. This will be a great pleasure for Pancho and me. Allow me, senorita, to present mi compañero, Pancho. How do you do, Pancho? Gracias, senorita. Oh, thank you. Well, Pancho, I see you ordered another meal. Si, sí, Cisco. Pancho thinks it's very good food she in the busy bee. Sorry, but I can't agree with you. I've hardly been able to eat a thing since I arrived in Thompson Spring last night. Oh, that is too bad, senorita. Is something troubling you? Oh, nothing very serious, Cisco. It's just that I... Well, this country is so strange to me. I guess maybe I'm homesick. Homesickness can be very bad at times, senorita. You are from the east? Yes, yes, I, uh, uh, I, I came out for my health. The doctor said this climate would be good for me. Pancho think the senorita look very healthy. If you're not, the sunshine fix her. Si, sí, si, sí, Pancho. The sunshine can cure many years. <laughs> Madre mía, what that is for shooting across the street? Si, sí, I believe it comes from the blacksmith shop. <laughs> Look, Cisco, the senior blacksman, he's coming in here. I hope there's no trouble. Yeah, rode right up and started shooting me, did the concern on the outlaw. Senior blacksmith, are you hurt? Huh? I say, are you hurt? Did he shoot you? Sure did. Put a slug in my tub and like to ruin my bellows. Flung this here note on the door and went riding off. Oh, well, senor, may I see the note? You're right, stranger. What kind of a note is it when a peaceable citizen can't carry on his business without dodging slugs? What did it say? What did it say? I have not seen it yet, Pancho. Read it, read it. I guess I made a mistake in coming here. Look at this here note here and, and, and what it says. Don't ever set foot in the bad lands again. Next time, it means death. And it's signed the Baron. The Baron? Oh, no. Senorita, you know of this Baron? Huh? No. No, I never heard of him. I, uh, I, I think I'll go back to the hotel if you'll excuse me. Oh, please. of course, senorita. Would you like us to go with you? No, no, thank you. I'll, I'll be all right. Ah, there, senorita. We will meet again. Mm, the senorita go away very fast, Cisco. Do you think she knows this band? I believe she does, Pancho. Uh, senor Blacksmith. Huh? You say something? See, si, I would be careful if I were you. I would take the warning and not go back to the Badlands. You bet your life I am. As soon as I can get my guns and saddle up, I'm riding right out there and see what this is about. Pancho, hmm? I think we better keep our eyes on the blacksmith. Santo Pancho, do you realize you ate two complete meals? Yes, yes, go. And Pancho think he ate too much, even for Pancho. <coughs> now, Pancho, you have the hiccups. And Pancho got the... 
What cops? You have eaten too much, Pancho. You should be more careful. Madre mia. Uh, this never happened to Pancho before. Uh, here, 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 amigo. Now, now hold your breath and drink this glass of water. See, si, Pancho, hold your breath and, and drink like, like Cisco said. See, si, now go on. Yeah, <coughs> there's the way Pancho is there. Now, you feel better, eh? <laughs> See, si, gracias, Cisco. Um, Pancho feel better now. Everything all right? Ah, uh, bueno. Well, come, Pancho. We'll ride up to the senior blacksmith to see if that's not getting into trouble. Mm, Pancho feel fine, I just go. And Pancho all ready to go. Ah, Pancho, the blacksmith is just riding out of town. Mm, he rides fast to the south, Cisco. Who's there? It's me now. Chip. What are you doing here at the hotel, Jeff? I thought you were supposed to stay out on the place. Well, sure I am, Nell, but can a man come into town to see his own wife? Did anybody see you coming in here? Well, the clerk at the desk downstairs saw me. Uh, gave me your room number, and he told me to come on up. Look, Nell, I think we got trouble. Barton, uh, Baron, he calls himself, didn't quite believe that story about getting only $12,000 from that bank holder. I told you we should have planted the rest of that money back east somewhere instead of me bringing it out here with me. Well, maybe we should, but you're here now, and you've got the money. I'm just afraid that Barton is too clever. What do you mean? Well, I mean he's liable to find out that you're a stranger in town and figure it's more than a coincidence that both you and me arrived at the same time. Well, that's all the more reason why you shouldn't have come here. So how'd you get away? As soon as it got dark, I went for a walk and slipped through the barbed wire fence and just kept walking. Honestly, Jip, I don't know why I've stuck with you all these years. You're so dumb and stupid. You're not even half smart. Yeah. Well, I'm smart enough to know that you better get rid of that money you're carrying. If Barton finds you here, he'll get it. When he does, I don't know what'll happen to me. You mean because you lied to him about how much you had, huh? That's right. You better get out of this town as fast as you can. Oh, no, Jet. No, I don't think I will. I got a better idea. Tell me, how long do you figure you'll have to hide out with the Baron? Until the law cools down and gets off my trail. Shouldn't be more than a few months. Ah, don't make me laugh. You're wanted for murder, Jet. Don't forget that. And the law don't cool down easy on that charge. Well, at least I've thrown him off and I got protection as long as I stay here. In a couple of months, you and me can get away and slip over the border. What's this idea you got about the money you're carrying? Well, if you think there's any danger of the Baron getting it away from me, I think I know someone who will give me protection. Here, in this hick town? Mm -hmm. Who's that? Well, I met a couple of men when I was having my lunch up the street. One of them's a tall, good-looking fellow who calls himself the Cisco Kid. I think if I play my cards right, I can get all the protection I need. For the money and uh, for me, too. The woman who calls herself Nell Taylor, but who is really the wife of Jip Travers, may find that it's not as easy to fool Cisco as she seems to think. In just a moment, we'll return to our story of The Cisco Kid. Now, back to the Cisco Kid and the Baron of the Badlands. When Cisco and Pancho left the little town of Thompson Springs to follow the old blacksmith Sam Hopkins into the Badlands, Cisco little realized that he might become the central character in a plot evolved by Nell and her husband, Jip Travers. As we return to our story, Cisco and Pancho have overtaken the blacksmith and persuaded him to wait until nightfall before attempting to investigate the mystery surrounding the Baron of the Badlands. I think now we might try to approach the house, senor. Huh? I can't hear a word you say, Cisco. Speak up, man. Shh. Don't make so much noise. Oh, oh. <laughs> why are you pinching my arm like that? Cisco pinch your arm because you not can hear him talk. <laughs> Pancho, you too must be quiet. Yes, yes, go, Pancho. Be quiet. You think it's all... You think it's all right to move up close to the house now? Sancho, nothing will be all right if we continue to make so much noise. Come quietly now. Pancho, be very quiet, Cisco. And Pancho also keep the senior blacksmith quiet. 
Here, here, Pancho. Let me punch you in the back. Yeah. Maybe that will stop your hip hops. Hey, Cisco. Punch you in the back. Pancho, try anything to stop it. Ah, your hiccups have stopped, Pancho. Yes, yeah, Cisco, they stopped. Uh, Pancho, all better again. We go now, Cisco? Yeah, and no, what do you Pancho. expect to find there? I don't know. We kind of lost on your sand, the blacksmith, to go along. Yeah, we go along to protect him. Huh? Oh, mother mia. Well, let's get going. You two coming with me or not? Huh? I wouldn't be going anywhere if I was you, unless it's right off this land as fast as you can get. Uh, it sounds like you scared, Pancho. Huh? All right, all three of you, get going. I'll help you along with this gun. I would not use that gun if I were you, Senor. See, he got him. That Spartan. Now look at here, you. Why did you send that foreman of yours to shoot up my blacksmith shop, huh? I figured hmm? you might want to come snooping around here some more. I gave you two warnings. This time it ain't a warning. It's this. You are quick, but not quite quick enough, hombre. I do not think you'll be using that hand for some time. That fast work, Cisco. <laughs> Try to shoot me, will you? Well, I'll show you some real... Stop, fast. senor. Stop it, don't it? Oh. Well, there ain't no need for you to shove me like that. I will have no more shooting. No, not right now you won't. But there will be another time. And then it'll be a different story. Come, senor. We'll ride back to town. Huh? Ride back to town, you say? Why, I didn't even get started on that trip. I think you'll be wise to start nothing further, senor. Pancho and I will see that you get off this land safely. After all, we are trespassers, you know. Diablo! <laughs> Lobo! Pancho, huh? look ahead there on the trail. A man walking. This is go. He's far from the town. Why he walked his way, you think? Oh, we were stopping and questioning him. Oh, devil. Oh, oh, no, we stopped and questioned him. Oh, what were we stopping for? Oh, whoa, whoa, Queenie, boy. Whoa, whoa, honey. Buenas tardes, senor. We're far from town. Are you lost? No. No, I ain't lost. Who are you? What do you want? Oh, we are just riding back to Thompson Springs, senor. You lost your horse? No, I didn't have no horse. Anyhow, what's it to you? Nothing, senor, unless we could be of help. You're walking into the badlands, senor. Yeah, I know. I'll ride out and leave me alone. Everybody wants to be left alone tonight. <gasps> What's he saying? You are apparently a stranger here. I would not advise you to go into the badlands, senor. Oh, I got a good place to go there. I'd warn you not to go near the land of the one who calls himself the Baron. He does not welcome strangers. He not welcome anybody. <laughs> Can't you think? Don't bother to give me no advice. I know what I'm doing and where I'm going. Very well, stranger. We'll be on our way. Adios. Yeah. Adios, stranger, but watch out for <gasps> the baron. Sure, fatty. Fatty. Yeah, look out you don't fall off that horse before you get to town. Aren't you not fall off, loco? Uh, that hombre does not wish either advice nor help. Come, Pancho. Come, Diablo. Come, come loco, go. Hey, hey, wait for waiting for me, boys. Hey, get up, Queenie. Get up. Come on. Boy! <laughs> Here, Cisco. No excitement, no nothing. All right, I think we will ride on after we have eaten, amigo. Now be careful. Mm. Remember those hiccups you had yesterday. Do not overeat again. Pancho not like to have hiccups again. And Pancho be very careful. Do you think the blacksmith, the Senor Sam, be all right, Cisco? Oh, certainly. I thought for a moment last night there might be some trouble, but mm-hmm. I believe we have convinced him to stay away from the Badlands. Oh. What goes on there is none of his business. Why we try to make it our business, Cisco? Oh, I was very foolish, Pancho. I thought we would be of some help to Senor Sam in case he got into trouble. I will never do that again. Cisco, the senorita, the one from yesterday, coming in. Oh, she, so she is. What is there, senorita? Will you join us? Oh, Cisco and Pancho, so glad I found you here. What is the matter, senorita? You seem to be in some kind of trouble. If the senorita got troubles, we help well, you. And... Not that I'm really in trouble, Cisco. It's... Well, it's just that I need someone that I can rely on. Because I'm afraid there might be some trouble. Oh, that would be most unfortunate, senorita. How can we help? Well, I did a very foolish thing, Cisco. You see, when I came out here, my uh, my father insisted that I bring a large amount of money with me, and, well, I'm, I'm afraid it might be stolen. Oh, why do you not put it in the bank? See, money's always safe in the bank, unless the bandidos blow up the bank. Boom. Well, I, I don't want to put the money in the bank, Cisco. Would, uh, would you keep it for me? Senorita, this is a strange request. 
You do not know me nor Pancho, and we were about to ride on from Thompson Springs. But I know that you're honest, Cisco. You see, I can trust you. Gracias, senorita, but we cannot stay here in this town. Oh, why not, Cisco? I, uh, I'm very lonely, and I think of you as the only true friend I have. Santa, this is very bad. Cisco! Si, Pancho. You better not stay here. Remember last night the troubles we got with the baron? Oh, that was not trouble, Pancho. Just a little misunderstanding. Senorita, mm. this person who is called the Baron, yesterday when old Sam the blacksmith came in here, I thought perhaps you recognized the name of the Baron. Well, yeah, I, I did recognize the name, but because I'd only heard of the Baron as a very bad person. Well, you are from the East, and still you recognize the name? I did not know that he was known there. Oh, well, I I hadn't heard of him in the East. It, uh, it was on the train coming out. Someone told me about him and warned me. That is very strange. Strange? Why? That someone should take the trouble to warn you. Who was this person? I uh, don't remember his name. He, he just told me that if I was coming to this part of the country, to be careful. Particularly because I was, well, carrying this large sum of money. Hmm, I see. Would you recognize this person who warned you if you were to see him again? Oh, no. I, I didn't pay much attention to him. I don't think I'd know him if I were to see him again. Just no. someone coming in with his hand all bandaged. Oh, I see, amigo. He's the only we had worked with last night. The Baron. Well, I've been sort of looking around for you. Got a little score to settle. Everybody come looking for Cisco. I will not try to avoid you, but I do not think this is the place to settle anything. I think it's a very good place. I do not care to fight in the presence of the senorita. And besides, I do not think your hand is in condition to fight. Oh, don't worry about my hand or the young lady either. I can draw fast with a gun just the same. Gentlemen, please, don't fight. Well, miss, you seem to be a stranger here. Seems to me there's a lot of strangers in Thompson's spring the last few days. Mighty unusual. I do not think it is any of your business, Ombre. How many strangers come to this town? Yes, it is my business, especially when those strangers start interfering with my business. Where are you from, miss? I think, Ombre, you better be on your way. You know, sensible people usually take my warnings. There have been a lot of dumb people around here lately, like a fellow named Travers who tried to outsmart me by lying. Travers? What did you do to him? Well, now... You seem to be quite interested. You a friend of his? No, no, I... I have told you, hombre. You are not wanted here. Get out. Pronto. Cisco, look. Coming in the door. That senor. And he beat that. See, you can hardly walk. Jeff! Jeff! Stand back. All of you. Ah, oh, Tom Barton. The bell. Travers, how did you get here? Your guards gave me a beating, Tom. But I managed to get away. I'll take my chances with the law rather than with you. You lied to me, Travers. I think this gal here has the rest of the money. Careful of that gun, hombre. Stay out of this. This is between me and Travis. Yeah. Between you and me, Tom. Look out, Cisco. There'll be no murderers here, hombre. Give me that gun. Cisco, Cisco. The senorita. She aimed the gun at the back. Grab the senorita, Pancho. Nobody's grabbing me. Stay where you are. Come on, Jip. I got them covered. Back toward the door. You are doing a very foolish thing. There is still something known as the law. The law. That's very funny. We'll take those horses of yours and be over the border before any law can reach us. Hey, hey, what's going on here? Well, get them, Sam. Oh, no, you don't. Santa, the blacksmith grabbed the singer either. I will get that hombre. Oh, no, you should go shooting. It won't do you a bit hey, of you. I call me. Oh, no, hombre. Not until you've been turned over to the sheriff. The law will never do anything to us, Cisco. Jip and me have been together for a long time. We'll die together before we let the law get us. That is something that the law will decide. Pancho, here, here, uh-huh. We'll tie both of them up so they can do no harm until they are safely in the hands of the sheriff. Yes, Cisco, Pancho, do this. Look, Cisco, now, uh, why can't you be fair about sure. this thing? Sure, sure. Now, now, look here. That bear and I, you know the country's much better off without yeah. him. Why don't you let us go? Uh, we'll never cause any more harm. Your appeal is very touching, hombre. But when one commits a crime, the law exacts a penalty. A lot of talk going on around here. Anything important? Probably important to these two, but I'm afraid it will do them no good. But, say, you're blacksmith. I want to thank you for saving my life. Huh? What'd you say? I say I want to thank you for saving my life. His wife, is she? Well, now, first time the jail in Thompson Springs will ever have a woman in it. Get <laughs> the rope, Cisco. Oh, mother of me, the rope. What's she saying? Well, Jip, I guess it's murder for both of us. Yeah. Me back east and you just now for shooting Barton. Say, Senor Travers and Senora, no matter how you try to evade it, the law has a way of bringing criminals to justice. Cisco!
Cisco. Sì, Pancho. That same is almost full, Pancho. And Pancho thinks you almost full Cisco, too. Well, Pancho, perhaps she did it first. Yeah, it's always well, amigo, to believe the best of people until you find out otherwise. Mm, Pancho got to think about this. This otherwise, what does it mean, huh? Otherwise? Uh-huh. Well, it means, um, here, I will give you an example. Uh, bueno, example. Tell Pancho. Well, as an example, Pancho, you should not eat so much, otherwise you will get the hiccups again. Oh, so that's what otherwise means. And Pancho eat too much otherwise. <laughs> that's very funny. Funny, Pancho? Uh-huh. Well, what is so funny about that? Uh, you sure fool Pancho. I fool you? How? <laughs> This could say Pancho get the hiccups from eating too much otherwise. And all the time, Pancho think he get the hiccups from eating too much food. Oh, Pancho. <laughs> oh, Cisco. <laughs> 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 And so ends another exciting adventure with O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the West, the Cisco Kid. Sure to listen again for another thrilling adventure of the Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid was played by Jack Mather, Poncho by Harry Lang.